We are back with uh, medical medium Anthony William, and he is here with Sally Arnold. She's a registered nurse mm -hmm. who had ailments. Yes. Who was a skeptic. Very much so. But was running out of places to turn Absolutely. and answers. Yes. So you turned to Anthony, uh, and you called. You reached out. Yes. And in a phone call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So take it from there. Okay. So you needed some answers. And I think I want to go back to I was skeptical. Mm -hmm. You know, this is pretty out there for me. And coming from a clinical background as a nurse, uh, you know, that was a big jump. But yeah. there was something that just kept tugging on my heartstrings. And so I thought, well, what do I have to lose? How desperate were you? Oh, pretty desperate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what were you looking for exactly? I was looking to feel good. Oh. I didn't feel like me. Why? Right. What were you on medication? I was on medication. I had a hysterectomy when I was 29. Mm -hmm. I had thyroid issues. I had just some chronic autoimmune stuff, and it always felt like it was three o'clock in the morning. You know, I had joint swelling, inflammation, um, hair loss, just classic symptoms, I think, but the medical field couldn't answer my questions. So you make the phone call. Yes. And then when you received the phone call, what did you tell her? <laughs> well, you know, it, I saw a bunch of different things going on. I saw her thyroid problem. I saw what was happening inside her thyroid because Spirit told me. Spirit said, take a look. This is what's happening in her thyroid. This is what she needs to do. This is the right kind of food. You know, because a lot of people are confused about food as medicine. You know, there's a lot of different information out there. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of it. And Spirit knew what food to use, what specific things she needed to make sure that the thyroid would recover, to make sure that would she start feeling good because she could barely function from right. what I remember. Mm -hmm. Did you, was this a bunch of gibberish to you? Was he rattling off things that <laughs> no, made no sense? No, you? you know how crazy this was? I wrote a list of my questions and I was a little skeptical. So I just, I had some time, I had a prayer. I just like, okay, let's try this. And it was remarkable because it was if Anthony was reading my list one by one and he went through every question I had. Everything, was there something there that you didn't, you didn't know about that he found? No, but he, what thing that wasn't on my list at the very end, he said, you know, things are looking good. We're gonna do this and this and this. And you know, aside from the small calcification in your left breast, we're good. You know, that's gonna be fine. I've known about that for 15 years. The hospital would like to take it off and it's like, it's fine, I'm really just mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. But we had never met, he's on the other line. <laughs> and for me, that was that confirmation of, he knew something that nobody knew but my husband and mm -hmm. my family. And, right. And that was like, okay, there's something pretty special here. So you started to go to work on what? His punch list of things for yes, you? Yes, I did. And starting with what? Um, you know, adding fruits and vegetables, copious fruits and vegetables to my diet. He recommended, um, he said I had Epstein-Barr virus. So taking some, um, some lysine, some recommendations that he had, mm -hmm. I started taking those and I, you know, coming down for the show, I realized I forgot how bad I used to feel. Like it becomes normal to feel wonderful again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and, and the how change. How long before was, you were really feeling the change and the effects? I think hope is big medicine. So when I hung up the phone, I felt better. Right away. And my hope. physical right. body right. followed. Yeah. It was pretty rapid. Is that pretty common for you, Anthony? That well, you know, yeah, spirit offers a lot of light too. So there's light involved automatically. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm helping someone out, that light we can feel yeah. around there's us. light and knowledge. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. absolutely. Right. Right. How do you get better if you don't know what's wrong right. too? That's another thing, right. knowing what's wrong and knowing the cause is half the battle. Right, so are you on me medication still? No. You're off medication no. completely? Not only am I off medication, but the last time I had my thyroid test done, mm -hmm. this last October, and now mind you, for almost 20 years, we couldn't get me on even the normal range. I was 0 0.24. I mean, I was off the low. And I'm now in a total normal range, and that's on no oh. medication. Are you still a nurse? Yes. You're yeah. still a nurse? Yes. Do you tell other nurses? Um, I'm not working in the hospital okay. right now, but I'll tell anybody who will listen. Yeah. All right. Um, Anthony, let me ask you. So, Christina volunteered for a reading. Would you be willing to do that oh, for yeah. her? Okay. Yeah. So, we asked Christina to write down in uh, on here something. What did you write down? Some things that? Uh, well, a couple of things there, and a couple of things I didn't. Okay. But, okay. Okay. So right. it's here. It's not <laughs> sealed, but it's on here. Are you? Do you want? Do you have to, yeah. What do you have? What do I have to do? Just sit here. Well, we're here. We, we could stand up too. Are for you nervous a at all? Yes. 
What are you nervous about? Nervous? Well, I'll tell you later. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Taking a look here. What we'll see. Now, you don't have a disease, so to speak, you know, when people worry and they're like, oh my God, do I have a disease? What's happening? I don't see any of that. I've looked, I've asked spirit, that's not there, okay? I'm taking a look. You do have a bunch of little things. You actually have a kidney stone, okay? That's one thing. <laughs> Ow. It's okay. It's, it it's a small kidney stone. You do have that. I saw that earlier. You do have some scar tissue in the breast. I saw that too. Um, taking a look inside the brain and seeing what's happening here. Do I have a brain? <laughs> you, have you, have, you have inflammation. You actually have a little bit of nerve inflammation. That I do see. Um, do I have inflammation of the brain? <laughs> Seriously? Well, not in the brain, oh. but, but in other nerves in the body. Uh -huh. uh, L3 and L4, Spirit says, in the back is not that good. That's right. I don't know if you know that one, do you? Yes. Okay. No, I didn't tell anybody <laughs> that. <laughs> and then... Um, Heart looks good. I thought you had a mitral valve issue, like a slight prolapse, but it looks good. I'm feeling better about that. Liver, your liver's a little stagnant, a little sluggish. And intestinal tract has some inflammation in the intestinal tract, actually. Your digestive tract needs help. Your stomach doesn't have enough hydrochloric acid. This might cause a few different things going on in here. Um, overall, I, I think you're healthy, I really do. Your thyroid's a slightly hypo and it has been that way on and off over the years. I don't know if you know about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then... Yeah. You... <laughs> wow, pretty scary, it's creepy. Oh. And, um, but I don't see anything that's putting me into any big worry. I, I did a scan on the pancreas. Often, sometimes I'll see tumors on the pancreas in certain people. Why did you go to the pancreas? Because it's slightly inflamed. Okay, I knew it! <laughs> wow! Wow, could it, could, okay. could, it be, could it be the kidney stone or, or no, the, the, I knew the, it. The bottom of the pancreas is slightly inflamed. Is the pancreas here? Hey, pancreas. It, the bottom runs See, right to See, I've been complaining. As a matter of fact, I'm going tomorrow. I'm See. missing rehearsal, Woody. I'm sorry. Oh. Tomorrow because I'm going in to see what's going on here because it hurts so badly here. Yeah, yeah. but it's not a traditional Am pancreatitis. No, 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 no. be able to come no, no. back. We um, apparently didn't have enough paper Sorry. for Christina to write all of her things, but she did write two things on her list, a high blood pre pressure and... Well, that's, uh, the, that's the liver. Cholesterol. The liver. She has high blood pressure because of the liver. The oh. liver's stagnant. That's what Spirit saw. Mm -hmm. It's a mystery high blood pressure because I looked at arteries and I looked at the heart and I don't see disease. That's actually caused by the liver. Okay. okay, so I need to take care of my liver. And the okay. cholesterol is the liver too. The, yeah. the pancreas thing is really creeping me out because I didn't tell oh. anybody that. And I am going to the doctor tomorrow to have a look at it. Well, just let me know what's going on. I'm, give I me your number. Sometimes like, wow. 